What's up everyone? Personal trainer and fat loss coach Jade Harrison here and today I'm going to show you how to meal plan. Meal planning will take out the guesswork when it comes to deciding what to eat every day. So let's talk about how to do it effectively. Now before we get started, keep in mind that I do have a meal planning guide that you can use to plan out your meals every week. This is a really great tool for helping you to get ahead on your meal planning. You can download that from my website. The link for that is below in the description of this video. Now before you do meal planning, you need to know what your goals are. It's really important to be mindful of how many calories your body needs every day in order to reach your fitness goals. You also need to decide what your macronutrient distribution would be. If you're not sure how to go through the process of setting your nutrition goals, you can check out my blog. I've written a couple of posts about how to set your calorie goals, how to find your maintenance level of calories, and also how to set your macronutrient goals. The links for all of that are in the description below this video. So once you know what your nutrition goals are, we can use that to plan out your meals. But first you need to decide what is your eating schedule? How many meals and snacks do you plan on eating every day? Some people like to eat three meals a day and one snack. Other people like to eat three meals and two snacks. Some people prefer to eat only two times a day. However often it is that you're planning on eating, you'll need to divide up the amount of calories and the grams of each macronutrient between those eating times. So for example, say that your calorie goal is 2000 calories a day and your protein goal is 100 grams of protein a day. If you plan on eating three meals and one snack, that's eating four times, then you'll need to divide your calories among those four eating times. Shoot for eating about 500 calories and 25 grams of protein each time you eat at meal times and for your snack. Now, of course, you can adjust the amount of calories and protein and then your other macronutrients that you have at each meal or snack, especially if you want to eat you know, less at snack times than you do at meal times. Just this gives you an idea of what the average should be for each time that you eat, how many calories you should shoot for on average, how many grams of each macronutrient you should shoot for on average. So once you have that in mind, then you can begin to actually plan your meals and plan your snacks. Now for this, I suggest that you use a calorie tracking app like MyFitnessPal or the Fitbit app. Just use a blank journal entry to plan out what you're going to eat on a given day and then make adjustments as needed to make your meals and your snacks fit within your calorie and macronutrient goals. Now when it comes to deciding what to actually eat during your meals and snacks, keep in mind the healthy plate model. Remember that according to the healthy plate model, each meal needs to include a good source of lean protein, as well as one to two servings of vegetables, and then one serving of grains or starches. I suggest planning each of your meals and snacks around a good source of protein. Start with that and then add in the vegetables and then the starches and grains. You know, when I'm planning out my meals, I try to keep things as simple as possible. Things that I like to do are uh, shoot for like meal prep bowls, uh, wraps, or salads, these are all things that I can do a lot of preparation ahead of time. And when it comes to actually assembling my meal or putting it together, it doesn't take more than like five minutes in the kitchen. That's my personal preference. I also really like recipes with, that require minimal prep time. So one pan recipes or one pot recipes, these are all really great for saving time and energy in the kitchen. Now, if you are doing something that's a little bit more complicated, plug it into my Fitness Pal or the Fitbit app as a recipe, that way you can get a sense of what the nutritional info is for each serving of that food. So if you're gonna make lasagna or something, plug all of the ingredients into MyFitnessPal or the Fitbit app, and then set how many servings you plan on making of that or how many servings that that recipe makes. That way you can get a sense of what the nutritional info is, and then just plug it into your daily log as you know a serving of that recipe. Now it's really important also to keep a running list of what I call your go-to meals and your go-to snacks. These are like staples of your diet, things that you like to eat frequently. My go-to's are Greek yogurt with blueberries and cacao nibs. That's one of the, my staples for breakfast. Another staple is like an egg sandwich with fruit. 
These are foods that I don't really have to think very much about, and I eat them so much, and I've plugged them into my fitness pal so much that I already have a sense of what the uh, nutritional info is for each of those. So this is really helpful when I'm doing my meal planning on a week by week basis, I like to use a mixture of my go-to recipes and then some new recipes. This helps me to save time and stress and minimize the amount of prep work that I have to do. And if you did download the meal prep guide, there is a sheet there where you can list out your go-to recipes and the nutritional information of those recipes. Now our bodies do need some variety, right? We need to eat a variety of vegetables, a variety of sources of protein, and a variety of sources of greens and starches so that our bodies get the nutrients that they need. However, when it comes to saving time, there's nothing wrong with eating you know, the same thing for a couple of days or even for a week. I like to repeat the same meals and even the same menu for a couple of days. This also allows me to prep everything ahead of time. You know, I make four servings of one dish and then I have that for lunch every day, Monday through Thursday. Just make sure that you're rotating out what recipes that you're doing for your meal times on a week by week basis. This will help to ensure that your body's getting the right nutrients that it needs. Now remember, you can always use an example meal plan to get you started on your meal planning journey. You can find examples of those on my website and links for that are below. Now what questions do you have about meal planning? Leave them in the comments below. And remember that you can also join my Discord server, The Coaching Corner, where you can ask questions and share recipes and share pictures of your healthy dishes as you go through the process of meal planning. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day.